You're forming an adventuring company and taking a ship to the Occident to seek your future. Uh, hello everybody, this is Dead Man's Macaroni here, and uh, this is Occidental Heroes. And uh, I was doing uh, Deck Knight, but I'm I'm tired of restarting that, and this, is, this game might have that same problem, but... I'm just going to do our first party and then probably see if I want to still go from there. Cuz it's I've <clears throat> I've played it a couple times on my own. I haven't gotten very far yet and I've died like I've played it twice and I've lost both my parties. So hopefully we can get a little bit farther this time. I think I'm kind of starting to get the hang of it. I was doing a lot better on my second file. Now the question is, which one of the classes do we want our main character to be? Which the main character is not safe from death at all. So, there is that. Yeah, I like the fencers, but the man-at-arms get an extra, like, attack, or you get an extra hit point because of their shield. Um, and I don't think we need another, we need an archer, because I'm probably just gonna, gives you three characters at the start, so I'll probably get an archer. Um, I think I'm gonna make a fencer as the main character. Uh, do we want to be dashing young lieutenant, eager to prove himself outside the confines of army discipline in the training yard. The dashing young lieutenant is ready to leave the comforts of the capital behind him and seek fame across the great western sea. His youth, vigor, and ego give him an unmatched drive and will to succeed as an adventurer. Adventurous army surgeon. Even after having spent several years amputating limbs and mis ministering gruesome battle wounds, the adventurous army surgeon yearns for the thrill of danger. He has traded his saws and surgical blades for heavier and more destructive cutting implements, and has su supplemented his medical training with months of swordsmanship lessons. Flamboyant Brigand Not a mere criminal thug that is common around the capital. The flamboyant brigand is also good as at using his wit and charm to get what he wants. Alas, one too many high-profile Caper has forced him to set sail to the west and start anew, free from the persistent and often painful attention of the authorities. Devote warrior monk. The militant order has the militant order that had brought up the devote warrior monk is the only family he has ever known. The cloistered life became the cloistered life came to an abrupt end when the monastery was destroyed by a fire. Seeing this as divine intervention, the monk has concluded he should venture out into the world and take a more active part in doing his god's work. An impoverished nobleman. When a, nobleman, when a noble family falls on hard times, its members often find their educations and talents woefully inad inadequate for navigating the vicissitudes of their newly challenging daily lives. Having taken up the gentleman's hobby of fencing at an early age, the impoverished nobleman has gotten quite competent at it over the years, so he has decided to offer swordsmanship skills to an adventuring company in return for a share of the loot and a chance to reverse his family's fallen fortunes. Um, well, I th I've already done a few of these, but I haven't been the flamboyant brigand yet, so I think I want to do that. Because there's been a couple times where I've really wished I could talk my way out of a fight, and I haven't been able to, so I think, I think we'll do that. I'm hoping that'll give us a better chance at that. We will be the macaroni rogues. Yes. And then for our banner, or, well, not really our banner, more so just our little icon on the map that shows where we are. I like that, kind of. Well, maybe not. Um, 
Let's do... Could just do nothing. Actually, I like that, I think. Change the colors up. Actually, here. I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, now who do we want our two companions to be? Um, we'll have the Fugitive Poacher, because it's as our archer, because it's fitting for our little band of thugs. And then... Hmm. Vog... I'm so, I don't know how to pronounce that name. But I think I'm going to get this guy as well. Because... I was trying to decide between the Grizzled Army Veteran and a Betrayed Mercenary Captain as which one is more fitting, but I landed on the Grizzled Army Veteran because he could be like a deserter, I guess we could say. So it it works for the group that I'm trying, the theme I'm doing. Sorry, just getting a drink of my coffee. <laughs> Albert's Beacon is the imperial capital of the western provinces and the principal destination for shipping from the mainland. It is ruled by Viceroy Gantine, who nominally rules over the all-imperial possessions of the content. Like all ports, Albert's Beacon attracts a variety of businesses and enterprising characters which together with its relatively recent founding give it a feverish boomtown atmosphere. Looking down the busy main street, you... Let's go to the fight pits. Try to make a little bit of... I like to do this first, and if you actually leave before doing this, it'll be like your party's untested, and it'll kind of suggest that you do this, but you don't actually have to. But it's worth doing, because the first couple of fights, at least... Like, I've had trouble in the last fight, but all the fights up to that point really aren't too hard to win. As long as you're being, like, careful about it. The game doesn't really have any sound, so there's that. I think it has sound when you attack. I haven't played it super recently, though, so I don't remember. Uh, let's move up our archer. Oh, he just put himself in a position to get take some damage. Yeah, because we can kill him there and then use our archer. Wow, what an idiot. Uh, let's move him up. Move him up. That is something to keep in mind is you there is no like pass option. At least like when it's your turn you have to. You have to move every character. Uh I put I moved up our main character here so that he could absorb the hit with his shield, and our archer wouldn't take the damage, in case anybody was wondering. Alright, flawless victory. Um, I don't think 31 is going to quite be enough. I think it starts you with a little bit of money, but let's just do another fight. I'm not going to be able to keep going for too much longer either. So I'll probably stop it after, maybe we'll do this fight and then another fight. And then I'll probably have to call it quits for this episode. Uh, let's move him up and then we'll move our fencer up around this way. Um, I guess we'll just keep to this, well... Maybe I'll move him up to go deal with that archer. Also, uh, something to check is, like, click on the enemies and it'll show you, it'll give you a little description, like, you can kind of tell by looking at them, like, these are archers, but some of the enemies will have lunging attacks, like the fencers do, 
So it's good to check and make sure that they aren't lunging enemies. Because those can kind of suck if you aren't prepared for them. Uh, let's move him up. And then hopefully... Well... That's not what I was expecting him to do, but I guess I should have expected a sweeping attack. Here, we'll hit him. And then, oh yeah, see, there's an example of the lunge attack that we have with our friend. Oh, I just put him in a terrible spot. Oh no. Well, at least it's the fighting pit, so he's not actually dead, but in a real situation, he would be dead. Oh no, I was about to say, did I just lose another one, but no. Uh, I hate it sometimes when it gets down to just you and the archer. Because it's like... Oh, they can be pretty tricky sometimes, but eventually they'll, they're will they bound to put themselves in a spot of danger. Uh, I think I'm actually just going to call it quits here. Um, because I'm out of time. But... I'm definitely excited to see where this adventure takes us. Uh, actually, here. Let's ask around some, for a job first. Start a conversation with a farmer living in the area surrounding Aubert's Beacon. He tells you about a pack of wolves that have been terrorizing the nearby farms, stealing food, killing livestock, and even attacking people. It's only a matter of time before one of us gets killed. Look, you seem capable and we need your help, and I... I and some other farmers have pooled our resources and we can offer you 45 gold. Reward for hunting down this wolf pack. What do you say? Let's do it. So next time on Occident Occidental Heroes, we will uh, go and hunt down these wolves. So thank you all for watching and I will see you guys next time.